Today, Kevin and I are gonna be going over our July favorites and our favorites and our least favorites. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different just because some of these things um, we had while we were on vacation and uh, some things you'll see I didn't, we didn't actually do a review of, but we still enjoyed quite a bit. Uh, but the first thing we always do is we go over the things that we just absolutely could not stand. Fortunately for us, we only had two that we really, really, really hated. It would never recommend for you all to buy. The first one was, this was a Kevin and Andrew video. Boost protein bar. Yeah, now the Boost bar is one of Andrew, um, Andrew's favorite like British bars. He loves the crunchy bars and he loves Boost bars. So this one, not very good. It wasn't. <laughs> I tried it after. Afterward, yeah, we tried it. We let. We made them try it. They so made you gotta try this They stuff. they do that a lot of times. Um, at the aftertaste, just the flavor in general, was really really bad. So it's just yeah, don't don't. Bother. Which is really cruel of people, you know. Oh oh, this is awful. You try, Here, try it. Mine. <laughs> but that's uh, that's just uh, humans. We do that to each other. But it was really bad. Mm -hmm. It was something I would never wish on anybody. No. And this is also something I would never wish on anybody. <laughs> um, and you all knew when you saw the video, if you watched it, um, I think I said at the end of the video, I have a special place for this. <laughs> um, and that is in the container with the stuff that we just hate. Uh, this is the Premier Protein Clear Protein Drink. It has 20 grams of protein. This is the peach. Unfortunately for Ashley, she bought a huge... Yeah, before um, trying them out. Try, yeah, before trying them out, she bought a huge uh, container uh, of them. The, I don't know how many you got, probably 20 or something, uh, from Costco. And uh, then she, she got it home, and uh, we tried it, and it's like, that tastes like vomit. It mm. literally tastes like vomit it is the nastiest it's pretty disgusting yes it was absolutely horrific um so i i poured this out the rest of it out just to be able to to keep the empty container um but trust me no one drank that it was that bad i would never it was bad i, I would never I wish like that on anybody so those were the two things we hated now we're going to go on to lots. not bad we only had two things no i don't think that's bad at all Good. you've got a lot more than I do. okay um this, I know I, this is uh, gonna be weird for you all. I, I know I did not do a review of this. This is the um, m and Salted Caramel Hazelnut Millionaire. This is a flapjack. And flapjacks in the United Kingdom, for those of you that, that have never watched a flapjack video, they're an OD bar. Mm -hmm. That's what they are. They're, they're long and it's, it's just like if you were to make bars here yeah. and you would cut them lengthwise to be about this big. It's an OD bar, and I what they call it tray bake. It's in a tray, and you cut it into like bars, but they're they're very OD. Right, and I don't even know if I've ever done a review of this one in particular or not, but I love this. This would um, this would take the place of I've always said the nut and seed one was one of my favorites. This would definitely be above that. The salted caramel hazelnut millionaire. It is terrific. So if you're over there at M and S. Definitely try one of those. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get the big box out of the way. These okay. are the Pop Tart cereal, the frosted cookies and cream. Um, I finished this box off. It was uh, it was very very good. The the flavor of the the cereal was really good. The texture was good. The uh, yeah, everything about this was really, really good. And I love this too. Yeah, we, we both really liked These it. Actually, were good. we liked most of the Pop Tart cereal. Some of it was better than others, more flavorful than others, but all, all of them were pretty decent. Uh, but this was the best. These were good as, as just a snack too. Yeah, yeah, you could just, have just eaten those without them. Mm -hmm, so yeah, that, that that's actually. how I ate them. I ate them, I think I ate them twice as just a snack and a ball. I just measured out a good portion and um, ate them that way. So they're very, very, out of the Pop-Tarts, those are the best. Those the are the best ones, yeah. yeah. Um, this is another one that I don't, um, uh, we may have done a review of these in the past, but we didn't in the past month. Uh, this is the McVitie's Moments Salted Caramel Billionaire, and you can see there's a, there's a theme here um, uh, with what I like. This was, um, this was one of those uh, OD bars, and it had salted caramel, and it just, it was absolutely delicious, and if I had known just 
how if I had remembered how much I like these, I would have bought more because yeah, it would. Like hate, it, so yeah, <laughs> I, it's honestly it's a good thing when I like something that much. It's better for me not to buy it, right? Because then I don't have it around for temptation. That's true. Because I don't need the temptation because it is that good. And these, you like that one the best. Um, these are shapers. These are the boots. They're, they're boots yeah. brand shapers. Um, I, ha I like the salted caramel nougat bar. And I like the blueberry and yogurt. Yeah, bar. these are these are really. Good. I love the texture of these. They had that uh, kind of a, a tougher Milky Way kind of texture. They were denser in the middle of it, but they kind of have a whipped texture in the middle. But these are these were excellent. Yes, this one's only eighty five calories. I think Kevin's was like ninety five. Yeah. yeah. So this would be a great thing to keep in your lunch bag or maybe save for on the tube on the way home or something. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you get um, hungry on the way home from work, um, this would be perfect. These are excellent bars, but I loved how strong the blueberry flavor was in these. Yeah. Very worth the money, I think, too. Unfortunately, you can't buy them for you. I know. I wish you could. Um, like I said, you've got tons, so you go ahead. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Guylan? Guylian? Uh, this was a Belgian chocolates original praline. It is a chocolate bar. And I know many of you love this brand anyway. Normally you can get them at Christmas. You can get the, the box. Mm -hmm. And I know that around us, um, I've seen them at like places like Home Goods and, and uh, the, the boxes of chocolate. This is an excellent brand. It seems like somebody even left a comment that they had seen these bars at Walgreens. Mm -hmm. So if, if that's the case, if you can get this at Walgreens, you need to try it because it is delicious. These were all from M&S. These are the chocolate coated peanut butter and caramel chunkies, the marzipan balls, and salted caramel mini whips. These, uh, they were all delicious. Mm -hmm. They were good. They were all delicious. This was one of those foods that um, we would, we reviewed them in the room. And so we sat on the bed, or mainly me, um, and would eat them at night. Yeah, to snack on them. To snack on them at night in the hotel room. Uh, they were delicious and i thought you know even though i'm not going to buy any more of them i'm going to take these packages home just so that they'll be in the favorites the reason the only reason i didn't buy any more is because they are that good and where you know you open the bag and it's just so tempting to keep eating and eating and eating which is how i did on vacation because when i'm on vacation i'm on vacation from everything so i eat to my heart's content of course you walk a lot uh, yeah that's true um but the reason I didn't buy any more is just because they are so good okay. and it's tempting to, to finish the entire bag once you open them. Uh, but I would get any of these uh, if I were over there again. Very good. Um, and this one is a Cadbury Dairy Milk uh, Chocolate. And mm -hmm. believe it or not, this is one of my favorites and it was a coffee kind of latte flavored one. And I, I think I would get like two or three, I would get three or four little blocks at a time and just take those at night and just just eat them. They were they were really good. And Cadbury's always got um, really good textures. Um, anyway, Very and their flavors are always really good. But this this was excellent. So if you like, I have a little bit of a coffee flavor, and you like chocolate, that that's definitely one to get. Since Kevin showed you that Cadbury, I'm going to show you another Cadbury. Now, did we get that? We got that over. We got there. it at Poundland. I okay. hope we got three. Or if they sell those over here. Uh, Maybe. no. No, because they're they were doing a competition with those right now. Uh, it was the latte right. and the orange yeah, and like right. a raspberry or something. Yeah, and this vote was our, vote to keep me. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, and so we found them at Poundland. I, I I'm sure you can find them other places, but that's just where we yeah. found them. Uh, these these were awesome. I think we found these in Asda. They're the Cadbury Dairy Milk Raspberry Cake Slices. Um, I'm thinking we tried these and uh, some other cake slices. Mm -hmm. These were awesome. I loved them. Um, it seems like once we bought these, I was eat. I ate uh, maybe one of these and and a Mr. Kipling or something for breakfast uh, a couple of mornings, um, just because that's the kind of breakfast we like. Um, the wonderful raspberry flavor. Raspberry is a very popular flavor over there anyway. Very Whereas awesome. over here, you get more cherry and strawberry over there it's more raspberry um excellent excellent uh raspberry flavor uh, these are the harbo 
um, squiglets. Squidglets. Squidglets. Um, they're little squares and they're mushy, like uh, a little tougher than marshmallow, but not, you know, not as hard as like a gummy. Um, these are wonderful. We bought one bag, tried them for a video, ate all those, and then bought another two bags and brought them home. And I think I ate most of them. Um, they're really, really good. We would take them on the couch and just <laughs> split them basically while we're watching TV. So if you're over in the UK and you've never tried these Trom, uh, over here, maybe they'll get them at some point in time. We do have a lot of hair. We have Harbo a lot products. of Harbo, yeah. So, um, so maybe we'll get them over here. If we do, you'll you'll love them. You'll have to try them out. The the um, competitor, I guess, over here to Harbo would be Trolley. Right. And I like Harbo better. That's just I do me. too in general. Yeah. In general, I I think Harbo, the textures and the flavors and everything yeah. is better than the trolley. That's just my yeah. opinion. There's some trolley things that have a little bit better flavor, but but it, but for the most, most part, part Harbo yeah, better. I really like the Harbo. So I'm hoping uh, because we do get so much Harbo, I'm hoping that that you will see those eventually mm -hmm. over here. I think they I think they um, over here. And then <laughs> this was just evil and i knew it would be when i bought it um this is the goo uh chocolate and salted caramel it was a, a spread and it was absolutely terrific as you can see <laughs> terrific yeah um it the, the way that i ate it was on toast um, I would take two pieces of bread, put them in the toaster, and I would get it while it was nice and warm and spread this over it. And I didn't, I didn't really worry about measuring it. Um, I got, I, I use, like for my jelly, I use uh, a tablespoon. So I would just take this and put a tablespoon on each slice of bread. And it comes out so easy that it wasn't any problem at all. Um, this... I doubt we will get this in the United States, uh, but if you are in the United Kingdom and you haven't tried this, you should. And I'm thinking that some of you told me that they make ice cream, mm. cold treats, yeah. and um, we didn't have the opportunity to try anything like that. I don't even know that we really looked in the cold section. Mm. No, because for us, it's like... It's almost impossible to transport. Yeah, and we were making special trips to grocery stores. I mean, like when we went to ASDA, it was a trip. We had to take uh, the tube just to go to ASDA, and so there's no way that that would have made it back uh, to our room, and you can't keep anything like that. So we we did not look for anything cold like that, uh, but that would be awesome to be able to try Maybe. some of their, their cold treats. But if you haven't tried that spread, Definitely it, get that. It's very, very good. Um, I think this is the last thing I have from from the United Kingdom. From the United Kingdom, I think. Um, I don't remember where we bought these from. One of the bigger know. stores. One of the one of the big expensive stores. I think is where oh. we bought these from. Uh, is these there are, a thing on the back? No. Okay. No. I don't remember. Where I can't remember where we got them either. We said during the video. Uh, it's a natural, and delicious brown bag crisp. These are the oil smoked chili. Oh. Oak smoked chili. <laughs> well, it could be oil smoked. They could be oil. They could um, be great. Oak smoked chili, and they were uh, they were just a really good flavor. And the the chips themselves were a good quality, and the flavor you got this little spice to it, but you also got that smoky kind of like a barbecuey kind of flavor. Um, yeah, these were these were excellent. So if you see these around, don't be afraid to buy them. Those would be good to buy in a big bag if you could get a big. Yeah, bag. they would. They were, and you liked them too. Oh yeah. This is my last item from the United Kingdom, and we did not review these because we reviewed them a long time ago, but I wanted to, to, to just put them in the pile because it's something that I really enjoyed. It's a long-standing favorite. Uh, yeah, <laughs> these are the Mr. Kipling Mini Battenbergs. Um, now, uh, my friend Sarah sent me a picture. They've come out with some different flavored Battenbergs, like apple. She said she really didn't care for the apple ones. Um, and I, I don't know that I would like them either. Who knows? I, I, did, I didn't see them while we were over there. Mm -hmm. I only saw the regular Battenbergs. But these are phenomenal. Uh, if you like um, uh, marzipan and cake, uh, they're just absolutely delicious. Uh, they describe them as a sponge sandwiched together with an apricot filling wrapped in an almond flavor paste absolutely wonderful wonderful cakes the texture of them there's a little bit of a a graininess to the outside because they have that almond paste wonderful so i love those and they're and cheap and you like it better than i do they're cheap <laughs> all right these are the crunchsters uh the sea salt believe it or not there are 
protein snacks, there are little sprouts, they're little seeds, um, almost sprouted seeds. They, um, I love these. These were excellent. I was surprised because when we got these, the company sent these to us, and I was afraid that I wouldn't like them. When, when looking at them, it's like, uh, I'm not going to like Well, these. they're made with mung bean. And when you hear the word mung bean, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. mung bean? What mung the bean. mung bean? Well, they were excellent. I love the flavor. They really were. If you like eating um, sunflower, sun <laughs> sunflower seed yes. kernels, yes. Uh, if you like that kind of texture, you would love these because it's a very similar texture. And the underlying flavor is similar a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Um, but they did a really good job with the sea salt and the other flavors are really good too. Yes. All of them were good, but this was my favorite just because you could you could literally pour out a handful and just, just yes. throw them in your mouth. So they're, they're excellent. Now, both of us, our last two things from the U.S. Oh, uh, Trader Joe's. Tra That's they're how we ended up that way. Well, I, I know. We did not do that intentionally. No. Sarah <laughs> from California sent us both of these items from Trader Joe's. Uh, these are the milk chocolate caramel crunch medallions. And I have the Benny? Ben, I said The Ben wafer, I don't know. Anyway, they're little uh, sesame cookies, basically. Yes. And both of these items mm -hmm. were absolutely uh, phenomenal. Uh, if you, and she also sent us. Uh, I, I wanted to bring it up because I didn't save the package and then I immediately wished I had it because I would have put that package in favorites as well. She sent us, I want to say they were called maybe Georgia Pecan, and we tried those cookies in the same video as we tried the Ben Wafer. They were just as good. They were excellent, excellent cookies. So maybe if you don't like the sesame cookies, don't be afraid to get the other ones because um, they they were just wonderful, wonderful quality. And I you like know, the crispiness of them too. Trader like Joe's them. is one of those things where sometimes we we either really really love it or we really really hate yeah. it. Yeah, it, and it, it kind of goes one extreme to the other. Yeah, but Sarah knows what we like she knows our sweet tooth and she knows when she sees something uh she's like they're gonna like that and uh, so she always picks us uh picks up the new sweet things for us to try and i'm glad because we very rarely get to try yeah, it's on the other side of town in another town in another <laughs> town yeah it's about 45 minutes yeah. away and it's um on a busy road and it's just not practical for us to get there we don't go to that side very of town often, very often so. normally when we go i don't know why but normally it's in the fall like yeah. when they're coming out with like their pumpkin bars and stuff like that that's normally when we're, we're typically over there i don't know why mm -hmm. um but anyway these were excellent and yeah. i actually finished these yeah. so and he finished all those. <laughs> yeah okay. so now Kevin has a channel, another channel, called Lunchtime Review. If you don't know about this channel, uh, Kevin reviews uh, things on that channel that you can make for yourself at, at work. Uh, four days a week, he'll eat something that you can uh, heat in the microwave, or uh, if you have to boil water, you can boil water in, in the, the microwave. microwave. Something you can do in the microwave or something fairly or easy Or a sandwich, just a sandwich. Yeah, something you can take to work and eat for lunch. And then one day a week, he does a fast food review, which we'll talk about in a minute. But yeah. both of these... Both of these were likes. Okay. Um, and believe it or not, this one came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, it is the... Um, I gave it a four. It's a ziti with meat sauce. It was cheese ziti with meat sauce. Um, it just had a really good flavor, and the texture of the pasta is really good. Um, the flavor of the meat sauce is really good, and for a dollar, you got a pretty decent amount of it. I think we looked it up, and these are made by Kraft. Kraft Heinz. The brand yeah. is Main Street Kitchen. Yeah, is the but they're brand. but they're made by, by a well-known yeah. company. So, um, so but anyway, don't be afraid to buy these at the Dollar Tree. Um, I've had a bunch of these so far, and I've liked pretty much all of them. I haven't disliked any of them that I could think of. Some of them are better than others, but I don't think I've disliked any of them. So so that's a safe brand if you're, if you're the dollar tree. I guarantee you, if you went in the factory that makes those, those come off the same line as something else, as something else that you pay two fifty for. Yeah, and probably. you only pay a dollar for it in the Dollar Tree. Just box it up differently. Yes, it's just a different box, probably the same thing. So Well just, this one we, we happened to just be walking down the island just saw meatloaf and it's like that's meatloaf and Tana goes, No, this is a different flavor. Um, this was the Stouffer's meatloaf with sweet chipotle barbecue sauce. And um, it was excellent. It was so good. Um, I thought it was gonna be like the barbecue sauce like they used on a uh, 
like their pork patty, mm -hmm. you know, like this like really sweet um, sauce. And, and it was sweet, but it also had that, that smoky flavor too. And what was neat is the only thing, the only complaint I had about this is the corn got a little tough. Um, the, the, the skin of the corn got a little yeah. tough, but the flavors, they put that same sauce in the corn as they did over the meatloaf. So you got that flavor through all of it. It was just really, really good. So if you see these, um, it was two twenty nine. So if you see these, I gave it a four as well. Um, try them out because it's definitely worth trying. So now th this is the time where I always ask Kevin about uh, the fast food meals that he's tried. And sometimes it's hard for me. This month, <laughs> it might be harder because he had a bonus meal. There was a new sandwich that came out on July 1st. It was the KFC Cheeto sandwich. So ordinarily he wouldn't have eaten out on that day, but he did just because that sandwich came out on that day and he wanted to try it for you all so that he could get the video out. So there was some scrambling going on because he went and ate that meal. You know, normally it's we're a day ahead. He went and ate that meal, came home. I'm getting the video and I'm putting it together and everything to get it up so that you all could see it in case you wanted to eat it for lunch that day. Um, so that's going to be an extra meal this month. So you had the KFC Cheeto sandwich. You had the McDonald's tomato mozzarella and chicken sandwich. You had a Burger King Rodeo King, mm -hmm. a Burger King Pulled Pork King, and you had Long John Silver's Tacos. Okay, let me, let me look at that. And it when it, one of and those, it also had the Pulled Pork Day, I had their taco too, didn't I? The Burger King. Yes. And Don't ever buy that taco. I mean, <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. In I life. didn't write it down, but the McDonald's, when he had the McDonald's, he also, that same day, he had the Stroop waffle. But I didn't think it would be fair to put that in because it's a Yeah, desire. it's a separate thing. Um, um, out of this five, um, the Cheeto sandwich is a good one-off kind of, it was okay. Um, their chicken's always really good there. I wish I had a little more spice, but that they, and the cheese sauce, I think I said then, they needed more cheese sauce on it too. Um, out of the sponge, probably that Rodeo King. That Rodeo What's King was favorite? really good. I like it. I like a good burger with bacon and, and barbecue sauce anyway. I mean, when I go to Culver's, I get barbecue sauce on it. So, I mean, I, I like a good burger with barbecue sauce. So, I, I like that Rodeo King. That mozzarella thing from McDonald's was a joke. It was nothing. Yeah. It was just a regular chicken right. sandwich. But, I mean, it was nothing. Um, and then the pulled pork tasted like Sloppy Joe. The Long John Silver's tacos weren't bad, but the... Um, I don't know. It's just a piece of fish with some kind of limey sauce. I didn't really care for the lime sauce. The lime, that much. yeah. It was very, very strong lime. The lime would have caught me off guard. I told him that when it, I wouldn't have expected them to put lime in it. So for me, I, yeah, I wouldn't like the no. lime part. No. So, so the radio king would be my number one. The second would be the Cheeto sandwich. I, I like the Cheeto sandwich. I really did. But out of those two, I'd probably. And to go. avoid out of all these, if you want to avoid one, you would not eat the McDonald's tomato mozzarella chicken. Which I mean, was one of those a, world things, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's yeah. not like it was bad. It was just nothing it special. Just nothing it was just special. a regular chicken sandwich with... The only thing they changed on was they put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on it. And some, some sauce that's supposed to be on there that you couldn't hardly taste. Well, I said that wrong because if you would avoid anything, you would avoid that, oh, that, taco. that taco. The taco was okay. the worst. The taco, um, yeah. And I actually probably wouldn't, um, I probably wouldn't eat the pulled pork either, but just because it was like a sloppy joe. And if I want sloppy joe, I'd get a sloppy joe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but the, you only paid like a dollar for it, and you said it wasn't even worth a dollar. The taco. Yeah. Yeah, the taco was, no. It's literally, don't even, don't even buy it. Don't yeah. buy it at all. One person in the comments said they actually liked it. And it's like, I can't even imagine liking that. Because it was, someone said, I asked, you know, how in the world do they do this? Someone in the comments actually said they actually come like that uh, from, from the company, and they deep fry the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then they put lettuce in there and sauce after they fried it. So they literally fry the whole taco meat thing all at one time. It sounds like it would work if they got it crisp enough. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, no, the flavors weren't even good though. Yeah. So, yeah it was just you bad. You just did not like yeah, it Go to Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> or another taco restaurant. I'm sure there's better tacos out there than that thing. Yeah. Well, that is it for July. And like I said, um, this was kind of a, an odd one because we did have so many, um, vacation foods, foods from the United Kingdom, but I, I, that might be the same way for August uh, because we brought a lot home. We brought a lot home from the United Kingdom to eat, so um, I don't know how many uh, we might have for August. You, you just never know. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful summer, and thanks for watching.